Menemo sika boroshi adabadaba. Breath on me, Jesus, tonight. John chapter number 20, verse 22. And when he has said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Come on, receive a breath of wisdom tonight. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. Neku bariemosiha. Niobi shaki kakorobo si hendi hendi ebo si ha. Kanu marush kalilu se di hendi ebo si he. Lord, breath on us tonight. Ini yabo si kalo resu ni hendi ebo si ha. The breath of wisdom. 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 Every frustration comes to an end now. He breathed on them. And I see him breathing on you here right now. Take it. Take the breath of God. Come on, lift up those two hands. Zeno shikabo siha mani. Arebo sikele brede de bobo shihai kada. It's a breath of fire. A breath of wisdom. Come on, take it. Take it now. Resueni mo sika bo tiha maraba hiados. Iye mo sika busa niya maraba diha. Namo sakika kote bede koshiha. Let every chain be broken tonight. Let every chain be broken tonight. Let every chain be broken tonight. By the breath of the Almighty. Zenu sakika kote bede koriemo shihaikata. Expect it. And let there be healings here tonight by the breath of the Almighty. Let there be reversal of every calamity, every pain in every life disappears here now. By the breath of God. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. His breath brings refreshing. Let there be refreshing in every soul here tonight. Refreshing. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Put those hands together for Jesus. Expect it tonight. The breath of the Almighty. Coming on you steadily tonight. You are going home a brand new person tonight. Somebody came here and didn't know what to do. But by the breath of the Almighty, your mental faculty will be ventilated. Ideas of wisdom. Grace. What to do. Will invade your system. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more confusion. No more frustration. No more I don't know what to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wisdom from above and thrones. That is our theme for the month of October 2022. And um, all of our midweek services we've been looking at Unveiling the worth of divine wisdom. What is it worth? And we are looking at part four in this service. What is it worth? What is the worth of divine wisdom? 
We have said that there are four kinds of wisdom. There's the wisdom of this world, or earthly wisdom, or common sense, which is common to everybody. Though as common as this is, some people don't even have it at all. <laughs> Praise God. And then you have intellectual wisdom or sensual wisdom, the one we go to school to learn. And then you have diabolical wisdom, the demonic wisdom that must kill somebody to live, that seeks to dehumanize human beings, turn what God made to animals, make caricature of God, spite God. That wisdom is to spite God. It has its own products, but um, achieving those products would demand to spit on God's face. So you see, that wisdom is an insult on God. It seeks to always insult God. That's that wisdom. And then we have the wisdom from above, which is our major focus this month. So we are looking at the what of divine wisdom. This wisdom from above is above all the other three. It's above all the other three. It's above them. It's above them. It operates beyond them. When this wisdom is operating, all the other three are silenced. It's as if they don't exist. When this wisdom is operating, its products far exceed the other three. Superior to them. Superior to them. And we have an example in the person of Joseph, who has been our center focus for the month. In Genesis 41, from verse 38 to 44, that has been our anchor scripture. How Joseph, by the wisdom of God, knew the dream and the interpretation of Pharaoh. And by it, he traded with it by that wisdom that God gave him. He took over Egypt. Pharaoh said, where can we find such a one as you? There is no one like you. Everyone with that wisdom are paid certain people. When you engage in that wisdom, uh, there's not one of your kind anywhere. You stand out. You go before. You go on top. You're matchable. When you are operating by this wisdom. Can I say this to you? Everybody at every time is operating by a kind of wisdom. Everybody. Everybody. The ordinary sitting, as you are sitting there now, some people now, it's as if, let me be here forever, you are enjoying the seat. Some other person, this place is paining. This place is paining. He can't wait to stand up. He doesn't understand why. He doesn't know how to sit, sir. The wisdom for sitting has eluded him. He doesn't have it. Everything in this world, everything you do, there's a kind of wisdom behind every act in life. There's a kind of wisdom. There's a kind of wisdom. Somebody is eating. And the food goes down. And he drinks water. Another one is eating. The rice is coming out of the nose. Now that he lacks wisdom. That's the short statement of it. Everything we do in this life is, is by one wisdom or the other. We are saying, among all wisdom, there is the wisdom from above. And it's superior to all. Now Joseph is a major example. One who got it from above. God gave it to him. And he played with it. He demonstrated it. He traded with it. And that's what we are saying. That you can take from Abu, trade with it, and become better than all. And stand out among your peers. And be better than everyone. And be better than everyone. Be better than everyone. Beat everyone hands down. In whatever it is you are doing, in wherever it is you are. And in whatever engagement you engage in life. We saw Joseph took over. So wherever this wisdom goes, it creates a throne for itself. 
It creates a throne for itself. It's just like a balloon that you put air inside it. Push it inside water, it will still come out. It can't, it must stay on top. Something is inside it that can't stay under. So when you have the wisdom of God, then you are a top entity. You are a top person. You, what is inside you cannot lie down. What is inside you cannot be defeated. What you have engaged has no match anywhere. It has no match anywhere. This wisdom creates its own way. It creates its own way. It defines its own space. <laughs> the, the other wisdom struggle. They fight. If you think you have trick, somebody is trickier than you. So you see, the wisdom of this world is in categories. You think you, think you are smart, somebody will soon show you smartness. You think you are 419, a 4120 will soon meet you. Are you understand what I'm saying? But you see, this wisdom, sir, defines its own space. It's in its own class. Can't be competed with by any. It's beyond competition. Can a car compete with aeroplane? There's no basis for it. The other one is on the ground. That one is flying. No basis at all for comparison. No basis. God, we are told in Genesis chapter 1, the heaven and the earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. And then God put his wisdom to work. Wisdom from above. Because we are told in Psalm 104 verse 24 that God made heaven and earth by his wisdom. So that's the wisdom we are talking about. He didn't need what is to make what is to be. With this wisdom, you don't need what is. That way, every other wisdom will depend on what is available to become anything. But this wisdom doesn't need anything. It's in a class of its own. It creates its ways. It creates its things. It doesn't need anybody's recommendation. <laughs> no. 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 It created a... Do you know that the title they gave Joseph had never existed before? Do you know that? It had never existed before. It had never existed before. This wisdom creates its own thing. It's in a class of its own. A class of its own. It, it, it had never existed before. So, men of divine wisdom are men of news. They are trailblazers. They are trailblazers. Always announcing new things. They are new, news people. People of news. A prisoner became prime minister. What a strange thing. Pharaoh said, no, without you, nobody will lift a hand in this Egypt. <laughs> that is, this wisdom puts you on top and keeps you on top. Puts you on top and keep you on top. You know, when you know what others don't know, they readily hand over leadership to you for cheap. <laughs> when you don't know what others don't know, when you don't know what others don't know, when you know what others don't know, sorry. So that's the thing about this wisdom. It teaches you what others don't know. Everybody are locked up, but the key is kept with you. That, that's what happened with Joseph. That's what happened with Daniel. All of them, sir, nobody could interpret the dream. Nobody. Is it that they don't have a brain? No, they have. But locked up. And then the key is placed. When this wisdom is operating, every other wisdom is silent. 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 <laughs> every other wisdom is silent. When this wisdom is in operation, he said, what is from above is above all. Proverbs 4, 8, he said, it shall promote thee. He's a promoting thing. It promotes. It advances. It promotes. It advances. It promotes. It advances. 
I've learned some few things in my journey as a pastor. Wisdom that God showed me and it has kept me, sir. It has helped me. Simple things, but the wisdom of God. Many times I engage and people are like, this one, your own, why they do like this? Your own too much. They don't know where I'm coming from. I don't know where I'm coming from. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know where I'm coming from. So, in the name of Jesus, you will come by wisdom that will make your life different. Yeah. Different, sir. Different. Make your life and destiny different. Bring you to your place of glory. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 7 that God said it is by this wisdom that we will be glorified. This wisdom, this is the pathway to our glory. We are made, made to be glorified. But it is this wisdom that will take you into glory. So you have a choice, sir, to engage the wisdom of God or keep operating the wisdom of this world that you are operating. Or diabolical wisdom. Because somebody can be here now and you still have that thing tied in your waist. You still have that thing in your pocket. And you still have that calabash inside the wardrobe that you, 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 you drink from every morning. You are not buying that diabolical wisdom. You have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice. But this is the wisdom of God that we are talking about. Superior to any other wisdom. Its results are matchable, sir. Unmatchable. Unmatchable. Now, access to this wisdom is an asset of inestimable value. Job said in Job 28 verse 12, where can this wisdom be found? Where can this kind of wisdom? Pharaoh, in that Genesis 41 verse 38, he said, where can we find such a one as this? And then in verse 13, this wisdom that this man is trading is not inside him. God gave him. God gave him. So, is the thing about this wisdom. All the other wisdoms, you, 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 you look for them, but this wisdom, God gives it to you. God gives it. God gives it to you. He gives it. God gives it to you. God gives it to you. We saw that of Joseph. Joseph. When Pharaoh said, I have heard that you can interpret dreams. <laughs> he said, excuse me, it's not in me. It's not in me, but God will give you. God will give you. <laughs> we also saw Daniel in Daniel chapter 2 from verse 16. He gathered his friends and they went before the Lord to pray. And we saw in verse 19 where the Bible says, and the God gave the secret. He gave it to Daniel in a night vision. It was God who gave it to him. The dream, the interpretation of the dream of Nebuchadnezzar. God handed it over to him. All the wise men in Babylon, not one had an answer. In fact, Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar, he said, this thing you are looking for, all these other wisdoms, can't get it. It's higher than them. It's higher than them. They can't get it. But there is a God in heaven who gives wisdom, who has all wisdom, who has an answer. Who has I have a result after the order of God is here. Wisdom is knowing what steps to take. You are looking for what steps to take. God can never be stranded. Only human beings can be stranded. Yeah, this is where it is. You find it here. It's in this book. It's in this book. It's in this book. And Matthew 13, verse 44 to 46, Jesus gave some two parables giving some credence to this, he said the kingdom of God is like 
a field that contains treasures. Treasures are hidden inside the field. So this is the field. The treasures inside it are the treasures of wisdom. They are the treasures of wisdom. Inside the stories are treasures of wisdom. So as you read the stories, the God of wisdom, the only wise God, your father, opens your eyes to identify the wisdom within the stories. 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 Oh, I tell you, I, 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 in my little life as a pastor, I have found some few things that I'm trading with as a pastor. Trading with as a pastor. As a pastor, I'm having the best of times, sir. The best of times. Just with proofs, proofs, serious proofs. That if I were to share among those who are my mates, they would say it's not true. So I've learned to close my mouth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I like to close my mouth. So, we are talking real things, sir. Your life can be better than what it is if you will give the wisdom of God a chance. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, yes. It can be greater than what it is. Your goings can be far greater than what it is now if you will allow the wisdom of God to take over. If you will allow the wisdom of God to take over. Now, the goodness also is this. Even though these treasures are hidden inside this field. They are also freely available to everybody. He said, unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Mark 4, 11. So anybody, sir, can take this book and you are born again with the spirit of God in you. You open and it will open to you. It will open to you. Are you following me? It will open to you, sir. So you make an assignment of it this month. Don't let this month pass you by. You can catch one thing here that will amplify your destiny hundred times. Who was Joseph? A, a slave who became a prisoner. And then he found one thing. Just one thing. And his fortunes changed overnight. Who was Daniel? A slave. A slave. Who was brought into Babylon. And then he found one thing. And that one thing exalted his destiny. Who was Solomon? Son, Solomon is what you call a bastard. You remember his story? And he loved the Lord. He found one thing, sir. One thing. He loved the Lord. And one thing. And wisdom came. And that's how his life turned. Yours is turning this time. I say yours is turning this time. So it's ever available to all. Ever available to all. Ever free. He said what I say to you inside the house, shout it on the house top. That's what he said. He said freely you have received, freely give. Freely give. So it's ever available. Everybody can assess it. Everybody can gain it. Whatever you need. To make your life better. Come to the field. There's a treasure here. God has kept that bears your name. Are you hearing me? That bears your name. That will turn and change your fortune. I pray. As you open the book. Let it open up to you. In the name of Jesus. Now. What is the word of wisdom? Very quickly. Five things to mention. What is the word of wisdom? Number one. This wisdom is unsearchable in content. It's unsearchable. That is, all the other wisdom has an end. It has an end, sir. The intellectual wisdom has an end. It has an end. Everything intellectual wisdom creates has an end. For example, now, you, you, you intellectual wisdom made plastic. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay? Take plastic close to fire. Has it not ended? Has it not ended? It has ended. The life has ended. 
It has ended. There's nothing. Any of this wisdom made that doesn't have an end. But this wisdom, the wisdom of God, has no end. It thrives in danger. It thrives in opposition. It can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. So, it's unsearchable in content. Romans 11.33, he said, Oh, the depth of the riches, port of wisdom, and knowledge of God. How unsearchable. Catch him here, he will come here. Hold him here, he's here. Unstoppable, unmatchable. Unstoppable, unmatchable. We call God the only wise God. This wisdom bets discoveries. It bets new things. When you are engaging this wisdom, he said, God will take you by the hand. He will teach. Don't you hear what he said in Isaiah 48 verse 17? He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I, that is, I, you know what it means to teach? That is, I will sit with you and navigate you through the challenges of life. And won't leave you till you are true. Won't leave you till you are true. Won't leave you till you are true. I, 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 I watch my wife, you know, from far, you know, with my little boy, teaching him uh, the homework they bring from school. And sometimes the boy is tired. He can't take any more. And he erupts. And then the mother too, I watch from afar, apply wisdom. Sometimes she will allow him. Sometimes she will put on TV or something just to engage him. Now that is employing whatever is needed to get this boy to assimilate this thing. That's what they call teaching. So when God said he will teach you, I will, that means he will do anything to get you there. Anything to get you there. That's what it is. That's what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. So that's what this wisdom is. It's a pay certain thing, sir. Now, le let me show you something that will, uh, that will um, uh, you know, interest you. Now, look at this. Do you know how Solomon came back? God gave him wisdom, yes. Now, look at how Solomon was engaging that wisdom and by it was betting all what you saw in Proverbs, all what you saw in Ecclesiastes. Look at this. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 12. Chapter 1, verse 12. Look at this. He said, I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem. Now Solomon. Now, I gave my heart to do what? To seek and search out by what? Wisdom. I gave my heart. This thing, the depth is unsearchable. I gave my heart. The problem with many people is this. They will never think. So the wisdom of God in them is rotting away. Thinking and listening amplifies wisdom. One word from God and you can apply it 200 ways. Through thinking and reasoning. Now, look at all over the place. He said I apply. Look at verse 16. Verse 16. Verse 16. Verse 16. He said I commune with what? With my own heart. I commune with my own heart. Look at verse 17. Verse 17. And I gave my heart to know what? How unsearchable, sir. He was searching for it everywhere. He saw wisdom in the hands. He saw in the trees. He saw everywhere. He was seeing it everywhere. Unsearchable. The depth is unsearchable. Unsearchable. All through chapter 2. If you look at chapter 2, verse 1. Verse 3, you see the same thing. He said, I said in my heart. Look at that. Verse 3, look at verse 3. I sought in my heart. Can you see that? Can you see that? I sought. Now, chapter 3 now. Go to chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. It's on and on. It's all over the place. I said in my heart. I said in my heart. Verse 18. I said in my heart again. All over the place. Engaging his heart and betting gems of wisdom. Strange. Now, strange things will come out of you this month. Hey, strange things, strange things, strange things, strange things. 
will come out of you this month. Strengthens, strengthens, strengthens. In that village where you are, they will come looking for you from afar. In the mighty name of Jesus. So this wisdom is unsearchable. Unsearchable in depth. In depth. Engage it from any corner to open up to you. Keeps opening up new things. Keeps bringing forth new things. Now number two. This wisdom stops the way against evil. Against all evil. That is, the wisdom of God disarms evil. <laughs> it disarms evil. It disarms evil. I, I saw something some years ago. And uh, this gave me a little understanding. Now, I, I was privileged to be somewhere in a church and um, somebody was misbehaving. He, his misbehavior was a bad provocation. I was provoked. I wanted to react very badly. And then somebody close to me who had wisdom. I've never had anyone say anything. All I've known in my life is Give force for force. Give me hard, I give you back. We grind till we all break. That's what I know. But he said to me, he said, with him, and together we began to watch this gentleman vibrating, exploding, and gradually the explosion began to go down. And before you know it, the same person is now like a jelly in one corner. Are you following what I'm saying? That, listen, somebody said, is, I slapped him because he slapped me. Can I say something to you? It's not everyone they slap who slap back. You won't slap back if there's no slap in your body. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, this wisdom takes evil from his root. Are you hearing me? And disarms evil without stress. Without stress. Without stress. Without stress. I asked someone, say something. Sometime, and I took it as uh, my own way of, of life. He said, I operate by the law of advanced forgiveness. Now, as you are coming to me, I've already calculated it. You will offend me. And in case you do, I already forgive you. You have not done it, but if you do it, I have settled it that you are forgiven. So that gives room. Anything you do, sir, there is enough stomach to take it. You know why people explode? People explode because they can't take what is being done anymore. But if you already have a stomach that can carry anything, then no room for explosion. That is cheap. Cheap, cheap wisdom. Cheap, cheap wisdom. And all these things are in the Bible. Proverbs 22, verse 3. He says there, he said, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. Can you see that? But some people will carry their stomach there, like me. That's who I used to be. But I'm not like that anymore for long. For long. For long. So, that's how it is. That's how it is. In that uh, Job 28, from verse 7 down to 12, he said, talking about wisdom, he said, there's a path which no demon ever knows. Go on to verse um, 8. Verse 8. Uh, he said, verse 9 now. He said, he put forth his hand upon the rock, upon hard things. He overturned the mountains by the root. That is this mountain, this, this wisdom, overturns challenges of life. When he solves a problem, he stays soft, sir. He stays soft. He overturns it from the root. No occurrence. None. Ecclesiastes 7 12 says, wisdom is a defense. It's a defense. It's a defense. He said, but the excellency of wisdom is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Wisdom is a defense. Wisdom and money match. What money will do, wisdom will do. So you see, match side by side. Side by side. Side by side. Side by side. Proverbs 21, 
verse 22, he said, a wise man, scaled the city of the mighty. Scaled the city of the mighty. And so yes, he said, wisdom is better than strength. Better than strength. Better than strength. So, by wisdom, you cheaply handle evil. You handle evil by wisdom. By wisdom. By wisdom. By wisdom. Now, number three, you give solution. This wisdom makes way out where there is no way. Do you know something? Everybody wants to be a friend to the ones that knows the way. The one that knows the way commands crowd always. Always. So this wisdom makes you a crowd puller. You enjoy favor for chief. It triggers supernatural favor. And look at them. Look at Jesus. In Luke chapter 2, verse 40, the Bible says Jesus grew in wisdom. He grew in wisdom. And then in verse 52, he said, Jesus grew in favor. Can you see? So anyone with wisdom will have favor. You know, you, wisdom gets you favor for cheap. For cheap. You will sit where you are and they will come looking for you because you have what they need. You have what they need. That's wisdom. Now, look at Joseph. Joseph, highly favored. Genesis 39, verse 5. He said, he said, he, 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 he was highly favored by his master. And verse 21. Now, try verse 21. It's clearer in verse 21. He said, but the Lord was Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor. Gave him favor. Gave him favor. Remember, he's the same Joseph in Genesis 41 who Pharaoh said, where can we find such a one as this? Who is as wise as this? So when you are wise, you will be favored. Favor automatically. Follow the men of wisdom. You command favor when you are wise. It comes with it. The same thing with Daniel. The same thing with Daniel. God gave Daniel wisdom. And God gave the same Daniel favor. In Daniel chapter 1 verse 9. He said, and God brought Daniel into favor. Are you hearing me? And then in verse, uh, no, no, verse um, 18, he said, God gave, now try 17, please. God gave wisdom. He said, and these four children, that's including Daniel. God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. Now, go on to verse 20. He spoke specifically about Daniel in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king acquired them. He found them ten times better than all. And then in, um, I think, verse 22, spoke specifically about Daniel that God gave Daniel more than the others. He enjoyed favor because he had the wisdom. So when you engage in this wisdom, favor automatically becomes your experience. And then number four, this wisdom secures long life. Proverbs 3, verse 13, talks about wisdom. He said, happy is the man that findeth wisdom. And then in verse 16, he said, length of days is in our right hand. That's long life. Long life. Now, listen here. There is how to use this microphone. There is how to use it. How to use is what they call wisdom. How? If I know how to use it and I'm using it, it will last long. If I don't know how to use it, it will last long in my hand. It looks like armor. I might decide to use it as armor. And I'm eating. Now, but that's not what it was made for because I don't know how. Now, you see, Lack of understanding as to how is what shortens life. Most of the most of the people who die young actually killed themselves for lack of wisdom. For lack of wisdom, most of the time we blame the devil, but the, the devil is not uh, is not the one. He's not the one. He's not the one. 
Among others is lack of wisdom. So where there is wisdom, ah, long life is there. Is there? Ecclesiastes seven twelve. He said, he said, those who have wisdom, he said, wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Giveth life to them that have it. Giveth life to them that have it. Now, finally, number five. Wisdom keeps believer wiser by the day. Do you know that wisdom has no end? You are supposed to be getting wiser and wiser and wiser and wiser by the day. By the day. Now, look at this. When God made man, he made Adam, right? Do you know when he was going to make the woman, he didn't go to where he made the man. No. He improved. That's why women have more finesse than men. Are you hearing me? Woman is an improvement of man. Are you following me? That's why you see most women are more detailed than men. Are you following? Well, that is, he didn't go back to where he made man from. No. God does not do the same thing the same way. No. And when he does it now, if he's going to do it again, it will be in a better format. God always gets better with time. When they were to have their children, he didn't make the children. They made their children by themselves. You see improvement? You see improvement? And that's how it is. That's how it is. So, you have to be getting... That's why he said the part of the just is like a shining light. It's shining brighter and brighter and brighter. Now, listen to me. Satan has not seen anything. Because this cream of saints in this end time will build house on water. They have not seen the time before. They have not seen the time. That is the kind of thing that will happen by our hand. In this our time. In this our time. There are things eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has come into the heart of men. Rise up on your feet. Come on, say with me, I have wisdom. The wisdom of God dwelleth in me. The fountain of wisdom is in me. I have access to the tables of wisdom. Such wisdom as I need is coming my way now. Ah. Get excited because this month will be different. I said this month will be different. This month will be different. The Bible says wisdom strengthened the wise ten times. Ten times more. Ten times more. That is, there is something you can find now that will amplify your life and your efforts ten times over. In impact. Ten times. Ten times. Ten times. Ten times. And my prayer is this, you will find it. Now, every head bowed, every eyes closed, you are here, you have not given your life to Jesus. You need to be prayed for tonight. You cannot have wisdom if you are not a child of God. We are partaking of the communion table and it's a table for wisdom. Every table this month is to come by wisdom. It's to open the eyes. Your eyes cannot be opened if you are not saved. So wherever you are, you have not given your life to Jesus, please lift up your right hand. Let me pray with you. And in case you have been born again before, but you have lost your salvation, you want to return back to Jesus, you can also lift up your hand and rededicate your life to Jesus. Lift it up properly. Let Jesus see you. If you are lifting up that hand and say after me, Lord Jesus, forgive me all my sins. This day, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, wash me clean from all my sins with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I am born again. Now, you have prayed that prayer with me wherever you are. Come quickly to the altar now. Come on here to the altar. Come quickly to the altar. Come quickly to the altar wherever you are. Come, come, come. Come, come here now. Just come straight to the altar. Come join me here. You want to be born again? 
or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, come on here. Come on here. Very fast. Jesus is waiting for you right here. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless this table. We call this the flesh of Jesus. And this is the blood of Jesus. Jesus, you, the eyes of your disciples were open when you broke bread. Our eyes are open tonight as we partake of this table. We enter into the holies of holies. We partake of the content of the ark. Every one of us, the book is open, wide open before us. As we partake of this table tonight, let the greatest darkness fade away tonight. Let nobody here remain in that darkness anymore. By this table, you are coming into light. Your eyes are open in the name of Jesus. Amen. fortunes. Going with high order of favor. The wisdom, 
that will be oozing from you uh, is one of a kind. Such things as eyes have not seen nor ears are will emanate from your person. In whatever field where you are, where you are placed, you will make the difference. What will make you a front runner? Among all engineers, you become the engineer. Among all architects, you become the architect. God will place it in your hand this time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please note this. The Bible also says wisdom, the wisdom of God, sometimes is like foolishness to men. So what God shows you uh, may not make sense, but it makes God. So believe in it, engage it, and then you will see how your life will turn. In the name of Jesus. In case you are here, you still have your offering with you. Can you lift it up? The offering is blessed. And that giver is forever blessed. In the name of Jesus. Please, or then workers quickly get those offerings. We still have handbills for next Sunday special anointing service here. New dawn. Every dark night ends when the day dawns. So, ushers, please, quickly help distribute more of those handbills. You are spreading it around. You are reaching out to as many. You are giving it out. Not to be kept under your pillow. You are reaching out. It's to help you reach out and evangelize. So, you do that, and the Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Did you hear the prophetic instruction that came in the announcement? God spoke to his servant. That every third week of the month, when we do anointing service, the Ark of Covenant, which we normally only have at Shiloh, must be out here. Are you hearing that? Third Sunday is our anointing service. So, get yourself set. Write all those desires. Pack it like you are sending it to God. Package it properly. And then you drop in there. And God will visit with you. In the name of Jesus. Go in peace tonight. Be blessed. May your rest tonight be glorious. Rise up refreshed and blessed. Uh, that issue that looks hard. The understanding for a way out is coming now. In the name of Jesus. Shall we share the goodness and fellowship? Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Praise the Lord and more than a conqueror. Congratulations. You are blessed of the Lord.